Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So, okay, more fire, queen of wands. There can definitely be a Leo about. Um, yeah, look at this strength coming out with a fortune in reverse. Regardless, your person wants you to know they are hot for you, they are passionate about you, you are the only one for them, you shine brighter than everyone else, and they are stuck on you, and they don't actually intend to go anywhere or to try and do anything about this to pull away from you with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We also have some Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. So I feel Grip 1, um, if you're in a relationship with this person, this probably isn't your pile. This looks to me like someone who is dreaming of a commitment with you we have the devil on the back and even though it's reversed i feel the energy is still very much present it's current this person is is so passionate about you and very much embracing that energy um for some of you it could be that this person hasn't offered a commitment but you have seen this fire this passion from them um we could have a taurus here as well so let's keep going look at that knight of wands exactly <clears throat> We have the four of pentacles so they might be trying to keep this to themselves but with so much of it here so much fire so much heat so much desire as well um i wouldn't be surprised if you can tell if you can just feel it there might be something you're feeling in the energy between you both um if you're seeing your person talking to them this could be leaking out in certain ways you know they might be trying to repress but it's probably coming up um their desire for you is probably making itself known queen of pentacles okay so if even if in the past if your person has not offered some sort of stability here or commitment they've changed their minds um they actually you know queen of pentacles they see your worth they can see what an amazing partner you would be you know boyfriend girlfriend husband wife and um it's like they want all of the passion and the fun and the excitement and the thrill i'm hearing but they want this the stability as well and the commitment they don't want you going anywhere there could even be a bit of possessiveness here again i'm not sure they've showed you this i mean maybe they have but they haven't been trying to i think they've actually even been trying to keep it hidden um this is someone who's very very focused on changing this situation with you turning something around here yeah we have the seven of swords you see they're not revealing to you that what they want now is something very serious something lasting they want to know that you're not going anywhere <laughs> that you're going to be in their life for a really long time um i'm getting some pisces energy here as well um okay this is very clear your person's super focused on you um very attracted to you to your energy to you as a person um and very very focused on making something happen here um i wasn't going to do this specifically but i think i kind of want to have a look at how you're feeling about this because this is very intense um you might be keeping quiet for now you might be just watching observing seeing how things go seeing if they actually can bring forward some of this energy of um sticking around stability <clears throat> maybe you're not intending to you know to take any action first how does my viewer feel or how will they feel about this spirit how does my viewer feel within this connection the fall okay so aries aquarius here but you might be willing to give this another go or to give your person the opportunity to show up in a new way ten of cups in reverse yeah but i i feel there's a guardedness there's a caution we have the hanged man as i've paused here you know it's like well i'm not gonna you know gamble my heart on this i was disappointed in the past six of pentacles so they need to show up they need to offer something it has to be balanced here equal give and take and we have the moon yeah there's that pisces energy but i feel you're saying you know i'm not going to commit to this um in my heart space at least until i'm seeing evidence of this change um i don't want there to be any mystery maybe you know maybe you were sucked in by mystery by passion in the past um and perhaps this person wasn't reliable um yeah i think you want to see change before you really um commit yourself to this anything else please how will my viewer feel 
Yep, Four of Swords in reverse. There's a need for healing here, Queen of Swords. That's exactly it. Your person sees you as this fiery, open, passionate, warm Queen of Wands, and you're like, yeah, I am. But also, um, I'm being vigilant. I'm being guarded. I'm using my head at this time, either in you know unison with my heart or instead of. Nine of Coins reversed, and we have, yep, yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, wow. <clears throat> So we have all four queens here. So you're really showing up as the empress. You can do it all. You have it all, especially as far as your person is concerned. Um, it's very interesting to me that the one queen that's reversed is the queen, you know, talking about the heart, the emotions. You have been very focused on nurturing, probably healing yourself, pushing yourself forward. Um, and while I feel you are still, you know, you still feel connected to this person, um, probably more than you're letting on, I think you're trying to be very wise about how you move forward here. Um, you could have been burned by this person in the past, you know, with all of this passion here. Let me clear this away and ask, what are their intentions? What action are they going to take? This reading is kind of taking on a life of its own, but that's fine. Um, I feel like we need to see what's really going on here. There's too much heat, too much fire. <coughs> Excuse me. What action is this person going to take for the spirit towards group one? What action is this person going to take towards group one? Can they be trusted? Okay, more fire, six of wands. <clears throat> so they want you to be impressed with them. They want to appear into your awareness, into your aura, your orbit, your life, and to have you be like, wow, you're doing so well. Oh, you're so attractive. Oh, you have so many admirers. We have the two of wands in reverse. So they want to, and they will actually, because <clears throat> we're asking what they're going to do. They're going to take some action here. They're trying to lead you both down a new path. They're trying to do things differently. So this is someone who is going to take action towards you. They're going to reappear, resurface in your reality. But when they feel really confident, really, um, you know, pleased with something they've done, achieved, pleased um, with themselves, because that's how they want you to see them. Yeah, the moon in reverse. And that's when they're going to reveal themselves. Five of cups. OK, good. So now we're getting somewhere with feelings. We have a page of cups in reverse on the back. So this person does have some regret, some remorse for how things have gone. I think specifically what they're sad about is um, not seeing the feelings here sooner. Yes, they saw the passion. They felt the attraction. Um, they may have tried to jump in too quickly with all, with all of that. They may have burned themselves out. They may have written this off as something that is just, um, you know, an attraction here. So they do have sadness. They do have regret deep down. They even feel that maybe they perhaps owe you an apology for something um, or, you know, to show you their softer side here. Thing is, they're still struggling with this when they come back because they're still coming back in a place of, you know, pride. If we think of the strength card coming out right at the start, you know, the, the lion that's walking across the savannah, <laughs> you know, looking very proud and, and is to be admired and that sort of thing. <clears throat> Yeah, look at that three of swords so okay we're seeing more of what's going on beneath the surface now which is good they do have deep feelings here they have regret they've experienced disappointments pain some of which they are saying they even have caused um some of it might just be the circumstances page of pentacles so they're going to come in and offer you something something tangible here maybe a date maybe a gift judgment reversed and we have the king of wands reversed they are worried they are more fearful than they're letting on that you will say no you do not get another chance you cannot be the king of wands to my queen of wands you know they're preemptively almost bowing their head and, and feeling sad at the thought of this but i think they're going to offer you something it might not seem huge but it's definitely something tangible it might be the, the most grounded secure thing um they've ever offered you can you give us any idea what this is, please? I know it will differ, you know, um, for each of you, but let's see if we can get some sort of... <laughs> wow, tower in reverse. So, you know, they're hoping, it's almost like they're hoping a plaster is going to fix a severed limb. I mean, a page of pentacles offer when there's been a very near tower moment is, is quite the thing. I would be very interested to know what it is that they offer. Um, two of swords <clears throat> the <world laughs> gosh and the world in reverse so we have Scorpio energy here um, 
this could be coming in after some time maybe a year or more for some of you <sighs> it feels like quite a small thing to be honest after so much um, and that might be something they're not quite seeing their perspective might be well it's it's a big thing for me to show up in this grounded energy whereas you might be thinking yeah but you know after all this time after everything this isn't enough so um let's say for example you've been dealing with this person for a year or more and maybe for some of you you know i, I know many years and they're like oh do you want to grab a coffee yeah that's fine it's a fine starting point but it's you know it's not enough to propel us forward into something new after everything that's happened here so <clears throat> Yeah, there's definitely an offer coming in. I would be very impressed if this page of pentacles can do enough, you know, um, to bring things back after a very near tower moment. You know, we have the world here as well. It's sincere, it's honest, it's well, it's a, whatever it is, it's well meant. You can definitely trust it. Um, but, you know, and I think it's fine, it's fine to start here, but there does need to be something more quite soon after, I would imagine. Um, but that's, those are their intentions. Let's get some message cards. Um, let's start with this deck and see what's going on for them at this time. What do they want you to know about what's their message here? <clears throat> I nurture the child within me. I am complete, whole and secure. So maybe they've been doing some inner child work here, inner child healing. Um, <clears throat> that perhaps has helped them to integrate the feelings more, you know, within this connection, not just the passion. I release old burdens and expectations of love. I am free to choose with confidence. Yeah, so some healing, releasing has been going on. Maybe realising that they have more agency here than they thought. Um, I trust my inner guidance. My soul knows the way forward. Yeah, absolutely. And I think they couldn't even, to be honest, hear their inner guidance in the past, especially with these wounds that may or may not have been, you know, uh, childhood wounds that they've carried. <clears throat> okay, so for group one, what does their person want them to know? Destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. Hmm... I don't know. I don't feel that, especially with this I trust my um, inner guidance card coming out. Maybe in the past, maybe it could be that this is new to them, trusting their inner guidance. And, you know, in some areas of their life, they're like, yeah, I've got this. I'm moving forward nicely. Perhaps when it comes to your connection, they're really overthinking this and they might feel like they're struggling to find the right option or, you know, figuring out how to do this the right way. We did see with that two of wands reverse, they definitely want to lead you both down a new path. Yeah, reunion, we will always come back to each other. Okay. <clears throat> I almost feel like this page of pentacles, I feel like I talked it down. It's something good, it's something to be excited about. Um, but I just almost feel that it's a starting point. You know, it's, it's not like the offer that, that fixes everything. Um, then I think that's fine because you're showing up in this Queen of Swords energy, so quite practical anyway. Quite realistic. Okay, we have space. I need more time to think. I'm hearing some of you being like, well, you better hurry up. <laughs> I've been very patient already. And we have soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. And you know what's coming into my mind? That six of wands. I feel that they've learned some serious lessons here. And actually, you know, the realizations they've had have helped them to make changes in other areas of their lives. So maybe career, um, friendships, family relationships, maybe um, the way they treat their health. Have You know, they've, they've made some changes there. <clears throat> Um, and it's like they want to come back around and show you, you know, look at the person I am now, look at the things I'm doing now. Okay, what else, please, Spirit? <clears throat> what else does Group One's person want to say? I'm hearing Lego. I don't know if someone likes to build things with Lego. You know, like um, adults that take it very seriously in, and enter competitions and that sort of thing. Um, you still take my breath away. If not, it could just be a visual representation of how your person wants to build something with you. They could still be watching you with this card. 
Um, yeah, seeing you reminds me of things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. So in the past, this, you know, seeing you and, and this connection maybe triggered some things in them that needed healing, releasing. I do feel now seeing you reminds them, okay, I still need to fix things. I still need to reconnect. I still need to put myself out there in a more heart-centered way, <clears throat> or I still need to speak my truth. I feel damaged. Like I just can't do this. Yeah, so we have some doubts and that's coming out on top of I need more time, you know, time to think. And not doubts about you or the connection, doubts about themselves. Um, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. And I do see a lot of that here. You know, five of cups, regret. What's on the back? <laughs> I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> we have, this is the one. Okay, so they really feel that you are the one. We have insomniac. So they could have problems with sleep or they could just be spending a lot of time right now thinking about you. We have confidence. So yeah, they want to come in with this, um, you know, six of wands energy. I want, you know, I want to be praised, celebrated. I want to look and feel confident when I come towards you. <clears throat> ah, we have sending you songs. So if you go to a playlist, shuffle and um, or <laughs> shuffle, <laughs> that's a kind of dance, isn't it? I mean, you can do that if you like, <laughs> but press shuffle. Um, see what song comes up and there could be a message for you there whether it's in the music you know the instruments or the lyrics <clears throat> um, yes the posts are for you so maybe for some of you as well your person is quite literally posting songs posting music for you to see on the back we have Sagittarius so could be Sagittarius involved this could talk about timing as well so maybe the end of last year or um, towards the end of this year something pivotal could happen um, okay, so let's finish up with a couple of messages to you from Spirit around this connection. What is your perspective on things, Spirit? What can you share with my group one, please? Okay. So we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. And the second card we have says time. You are trying too hard, give it time. So I feel spirit saying you can trust this person. And I do believe that, you know, we, as we dug deeper, we saw some of their real, true, genuine feelings here. Um, and there is, they, they've had some realizations. <clears throat> they have some remorse about how they acted in the past and they have good intentions about moving things forward with you. Um, Time is making me feel you can trust that they're coming towards you. Playfulness, you can relax into this. You, you know, you don't have to be that queen of swords forever. You can drop your guard at some point. Um, and the best way perhaps to reconnect with this person is through fun, through joy. Um, and I feel them making this tangible offer with this pentacle will help you to ease into this and feel like I don't have to keep pushing and pushing to know where I stand, you know, because they're offering some clarity around that as we go so I can relax a bit. Okay, so I will leave this here, group one. Thank you so much, I hope this helped. Hi, group two. Okay, let's have a look. What are your person's messages for you today? <laughs> if you're feeling lots of um, passionate, fiery energy between you and your person, you might want to check out group one as well, because that was definitely the theme of the day in their reading. Okay, so Spirit Group 2's person, what does their person want them to know? What's their message for Group 2, please? <clears throat> okay, we have the Five of Wands reversed. So there is no one but you. This is very similar to Group 1, King of Pentacles. Wanting a commitment here, Knight of Pentacles, moving more slowly than they actually want to. Um, Queen of Cups in reverse, possibly wondering, is your heart still open to them? Did they take your um, affection for granted for too long? Um, also, maybe it's maybe none of that. Maybe you've just been um, really putting yourself first in your own life, um, focusing on yourself, and they're wondering, you know, what well, does that mean that you don't like me anymore? But maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just means you've had things, you know, to do, changes you've wanted to make. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. <clears throat> So your person could be saying, I know I need, I need to make a decision, um, but I feel a bit like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place here. So let's clarify what's going on. 
the world in reverse just popped out so they could need to end something with someone else or another situation here um the nine of cups in reverse so they could be currently involved in something committed to someone or doing something that just isn't making them happy so if they were just going based excuse me on their heart on their feelings the choice would be very simple very obvious you know they would move towards you and very quickly at that with this knight of swords um but you know maybe there are a practical uh, concerns here as well or your person has kind of maybe a bit of a limited perspective they're not seeing you know that they are the magician within their own life here that actually they're not perhaps as stuck as they think they are so your person's wanting to talk to you about commitment about responsibilities they could be wanting to let you know something about um their work or their finances or to get a good idea of what you envision for the future you know together maybe you haven't really spoken with them about things like do you want marriage do you want children if you have children do you want more children do you see them um as being able to integrate with your family and vice versa so kind of wanting to know what um what do you want in a serious sense for yourself for your life you know in any commitment with anyone what's your highest goal here how do you envision this happening really wanting to know specifically can they create this for you do they can they envision themselves in the future that you plan for yourself <clears throat> We have the Hierophant. Wow, lots of uh, Taurus energy here. But yeah, really wanting to move in a steady way towards some sort of a solid commitment. But I feel for you, Group 2, your person's very interested to know what does commitment look like to you? How do you envision it in a month, a year, in 20 years? What, you know, what is it that you um, want here? So it's good, you know, they're not assuming first of all that you want the same things they do um, and they're also not assuming that what commitment means to them is the same thing as for you so um that's good you know sometimes we can have expectations and then that confuses things um but it's really nothing even to do with the other person it's just everything that we have put on them but they're not doing that here so that's good okay yeah ace of wands and we have that with a nine of swords your person is is first of all they could be really focused on you know really watching we've got all these eyes here um they could see you have eyes on you people very interested in you and that's something they're worried about but yeah they see that you might be quite passionate at the moment about maybe things you're doing maybe you just seem like you have a lot of energy and that's what they're interpreting from from you from this connection um and i think they're wondering well does that mean you have another interest elsewhere whether it's someone or something do you still have passion for them there's a real sense group to your person has a lot of questions they want to ask you lots of clarification they're looking for i do like it though it feels that they're not being um presumptuous they don't have too many expectations that they just assume are fact here <clears throat> Um, let's have more of a look. Let's go in with another deck. Let's look at this Knight of Swords with the King of Pentacles. If your person's in a commitment or relationship with uh, someone else in a romantic sense, there could be lots of um, probably no real emotion here, maybe lots of bickering, snapping at each other. What's going on? What does this person want to say, please? Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Oh, look at this king of swords wow see they really really want to talk and ask you questions and you know share things with you um knight of cups in the reverse possibly feeling they need to tell you more about their feelings as well for some of you page of pentacles this person hasn't even you know really maybe gone on a date with you or anything like that and yet now they're thinking you know well we'll i wonder if we'll get married i wonder if group two wants a big ceremony or just a few people i wonder if group two doesn't even want to get married i wonder um what sort of house we'll live in um and if they want to stay where they are or move to me or if we're going to you know live somewhere else entirely but i'm not sure if we've done the whole you know like a dating romancing courting bit yet even they do want to make an offer and it's interesting because in group one we have this page of pentacles in the same row <clears throat> i wonder actually if some of you are here from group one judgment in reverse is this offer going to be enough i tell you the way this differs from group one group one's person was very like 
I'm so passionate, I'm so fiery, I've, I've made some changes, I want group one to see the changes, I'm gonna make this offer with a page of pentacles and I hope it's going to create a new beginning. Your person group two feels a bit more cautious, like yes, I'm gonna make an offer and I hope it will be enough, I'm not sure, but I'm open to discussing this with group two. It feels more earthy, more grounded. Um, still very determined, but maybe a little bit more realistic, maybe? <laughs> maybe that's just my opinion, my interpretation. Um, okay. Where should we go from here? Is there anything else? I did ask for group one how the viewer would feel. Let's do that for you. Let's see how you're going to feel about this. Can you please show us how will group two feel? I just got a glimpse of the sun, so possibly very, very happy. How's group two going to feel about this offer, this gesture and this conversation that their person wants to have with them? <clears throat> How's group two going to feel? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So the first thing is you might realise that you, what you've been envisioning for your future does differ to that of what your person has been thinking about. But I that doesn't I don't feel that's concerning because at least you know you, I'm seeing your person here as being very open to um, compromise or to finding a solution that works for both of you. Or you know if they're not quite sure or they don't understand your vision, asking you questions about it. We have a hanged man. I feel maybe both of you are very deep, thoughtful, introspective people, very, um, you know, patient with one another. Yeah, look at that, king of pentacles in reverse. That's exactly it. Okay, we might not be exactly on the same page. Let's think about it. Let's put literally put our heads together, you know, and come up with an idea here. We have the tower in reverse, Scorpio energy. And we have the King of Swords in reverse. So don't panic if, you know, you feel like, oh my goodness, you know, we don't want the same thing, we're not on the same page. I think just take a breath, maybe even, you know, leave the conversation for the moment, come back to it tomorrow, you know, or something like that. Um, because both of you are very willing to um, understand each other's perspectives here. The Ace of Cups reversed, Knight of Wands, so you're cautious. You don't want to open your heart up if your person's showing any sign of being fickle or um, unreliable, that they might just disappear as quickly as they've come back in. We have the star reversed, Aquarius energy, and we have the hermit. Okay, I feel group two, there might be some fear, a tendency to want to pull back from this person, you know, especially if you speak with them and you find out there is some different, um, you're coming at this, you know, from different angles. It might be like, oh my God, I know what's going to happen. We're going to have another, you know, failed beginning here, or I'm going to be um, heartbroken again. I don't, I don't think so. You know, your person definitely, at least now, is coming across as very grounded, stable, very mature. Um, if they weren't that way in the past, they've clearly, you know, done some growing here in the meantime. But um, I do feel both of you, I really, I love this hanged man in between the King and Queen of Pentacles, because I feel both of you are very committed to saying, okay, let's just keep coming back to this until we feel that something here is working for both of us. There's no hurry, there's no rush, there's no pressure. I'm not going to force my um, desires on you, and I know you won't force them on me, so let's just keep um, thinking about this, you know, revisiting this. <clears throat> I don't feel there's a need to, um, you know, it's, I'm almost seeing someone being like, oh, this isn't going to work again, and running in the house and locking the door quickly, you know, which which makes sense if you've really felt sad and, and disappointed in the past, but um, I see it being different this time, actually. And when I say in the past, it could be in the past with this person, or maybe just in previous romantic situations you've experienced something like this, but actually your person here today... Um, isn't going to be phased, they're not going to run away, they're not going to turn their back. Um, they, they seem to be very already quite committed actually to you, um, even if not officially. Okay, so let's get some messages from them. So what have they been working on? What's been a focus for your person in their life at this time? 
Um, I am the master of my own mind. I am ready to move forward. Yeah, they really are ready to move forward Very um, in a very grounded, stable way. I heard predictable, but not like boring predictability, like a predictability you can trust. Um, when I first looked at this, I thought it said I am the monster of my own mind. So it could be that in the past, you know, their fears were working against them. Well, I mean, fears do, don't they? <laughs> their thoughts maybe were working against them, but not anymore. My heart and mind, yeah, are unified in spirit. Okay, good. So their heart probably wanted one thing, their head was telling them another. Maybe that made them seem reckless, you know, like um, their behavior was not predictable, it was irrational and you couldn't trust them. I am clear and open to receive miracles. Your person really may have gone through some sort of a spiritual awakening here, changed their philosophy on life. They seem very, um, it's really calm and like zen, you know, grounded but zen and I'm really open and I'm ready to receive. Um, okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> what does group two's person want for group two to know, please? We have um, unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Okay, I always um, feel that when this card comes out, you might be surprised and you might think, are you kidding? I felt like you didn't care. Sabotage, I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. So maybe they preemptively felt that you didn't care. Maybe they have felt sort of um, generally unappreciated or unloved and they felt like, let me sabotage this, let me ruin this before it gets ruined anyway and I end up hurt. So they could have done that consciously or, um, you know, subconsciously, but at least they recognize these unhelpful patterns of behavior now. Um, confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. I do feel for some of you in the past, you may have had these sorts of conversations before. Where are we going? Where do we stand? Maybe your person just sort of disappeared quickly on you. So that's why this time round there's some caution here, but um, I really feel there's been some change, some growth. Yeah, conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. Exactly. Your person wants to, to talk to you, to have a good conversation here. Um, something maybe on the phone um, or face to face, you know, whether it's like in person or sort of on Zoom or something like that here, not texting. They really want to have as little confusion between you as possible. Okay, what else, please? What other messages do we have for group two from their person? Your beauty still moves me. So they might be looking at photos they have of you or photos they can access. If they can't see you in any way, just thinking about you. I wish I could take back the things I said. Yeah, also in some cases, the things that they didn't say. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Okay, I'll come back and clarify that card. Messages for group two, please, from their person. It really was me, not you. Okay. Let's have a look and see. What does this mean? Um, something is still missing. What's missing? Well, I suppose they don't know. <laughs> That's where they're trying to figure it out. But um, what can you tell us about this spirit? How does it feel? Oh my goodness, look. Four of Wands. Stability. Commitment. What's missing for your person is the commitment with you. Wow. Okay, so they know that, but what they're trying to figure out, I suppose, is what would this commitment look like? How can we make this work? That's so funny. I love that. Okay. What else, please? What's going on for Group Two's person? What's going on for Group Two's person? I'm seeing a carrot. Maybe in the past your person you know, showed you the potential within them or this connection and kept dangling it in front of you and then removing it. Um, <clears throat> that could be something if they've done that, that they're regretting, that they're thinking about and feeling um, maybe ashamed of or awkward around before. We have smart. Okay, so they could be saying they think you're very smart. They've become wiser. Oh my God, I'm hearing smart mouth. <laughs> Wow, yeah, they really may have said some things in the past that they regret. Um, if you reach out, I'll ignore you. Hmm, we'll see how we go with the rest of these cards, but I may need to clarify that. We have Wounded. Um, lives at a distance. So for some of you, confirmation there if there's distance between you. 
I need time. I was wondering if something like that would come out. So I feel the reason they're saying I would ignore you, and I'm not really feeling they will necessarily ignore you, but they might be saying, please give me time. I'm still healing some wounds. I will reach out to you. We have resurrection. Wow. So they intend to come back strong. And then we have lives with others. There is something going on with their living situation, whether they do live with others and at a distance or not. It's like they want you to know something's changing for me in my 3D um, situation here. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, let's get you some messages from Spirit. Okay. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way, and we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you, the path is clear if you want it to be, wow. So there could be something that's weighing you down, holding you back, I'm seeing the Ten of Wands, and Spirit wants you to realise that you have the power to release yourself from this. So it could be a change in perspective, it could be um, that you, you're holding on to something in your mind or in your feelings, and let's say you write it down, you feel that release through, through writing. Um, it could be something was done to you, you know, some some pain caught that was caused um, that you're carrying and spirit saying, but you didn't cause it. It's, you know, you don't have to carry this. Um, you don't deserve to be carrying this, that sort of thing. Um, it could quite literally be something physical in your reality that you're being encouraged to um, give to charity, to donate, to gift to someone, to throw away, you know, sell, whatever it is. And that will make you feel more energetically, emotionally free. But I feel Spirit's message here for you is um, there's something going on, something you're carrying that's weighing you down. And by doing some introspection, you might realize, hold on, I can transmute this, I can release this, I can throw this away, I can get rid of this, I, I just don't need this, this isn't part of me anymore. It could even be something to do with changing your um, own personal identity. Maybe you've been carrying the expectations of others and you realize, but, but that's for them, that's not for me. Um, so yeah, something here, Spirit's saying, you know, you can release yourself from this now. <clears throat> Maybe it's something you tried to before, but you just weren't ready and you might find by revisiting it um, that the path really is clear that you're ready to to let go of this now. OK, so I will leave this here group too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped. Bye.